yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Zay Tobin checking in right here in the Shot Town in Chicago, rocking with Remy Martin for the producer challenge, man. So, you know, I'm in here season four. I'm proud to be here. I'm excited to be here. Excited to get a game up to the young producers, man, and see what kind of heat they got. Salute. Check it out. We're here with Zay Tobin, Remy Producer Series, season four. This is such an epic thing. I want to take a moment to shout out to the Remy squad for doing it. So, as a producer, Zay, um, getting into the game, what was your uh, uh, biggest hurdle when you initially kind of get started? You know what I'm saying? What was the challenge for you when you was getting into this? Uh, let me see. My biggest hurdle is if anybody know anything about Zaytoven, you know that I'm a, I'm a church musician. You know, I started making music in the church, and I still do that to this day. So my biggest hurdle was making beats that was hard enough for the rappers to rap on. Right. Because when I first started making beats, they'd be like, man, what, you know, what you, how I'm going to rap to that? That sound like some, you know, you ice cream music on my... <laughs> some church, Steve, yeah, going to church Yeah, it's with like, it. you know, because all I knew how to do was play the keys and stuff like that. So the challenge for me was to try to make some music that was hard and rugged that the rappers want to rap on. So that was one of my first biggest hurdles. Let's just kind of fast forward, man, into, into the beginning era when, when really Gucci and you, can you give him credit as far as... I mean, you guys give each other credit, right? Because you both definitely. working together it was a really elevated both you guys. And then from there, as, as, as you built a name, other artists came into the fold and all of that stuff. Um, what, what, what's the relationship with Gucci? With Gucci, like? Well, that's my bro, man. That's my partner in crime. I definitely give him the credit for not only helping me get on, but helping me develop the sound that I have. Right. Gucci was one of the first guys that everything I produced, you, you remember like I was saying, it was hard for me to make hard music. He was one of the guys that liked everything I did. So every beat I made, oh, Zay, I like that. I'm going to rap on it. So, you know, and finding out more of the, the beats and stuff that he, he liked and the sound that he was looking for helped me develop the sound that I have right now. So I give, you know, a whole lot of credit to Gucci, man, because, you know, that's my way in the game. Now, now Migos, when I first started working with them, I thought they was the hottest thing smoking. But we did a lot of records, and Versace was one of the ones like, oh, that, that's hard. I like it. It's hard. I didn't think it was finna change the whole rap yeah, oh, scene. That, that, that was a that was one of those records that, from that point, it was a it was a uh, elevated. elevated. Everything changed after that record Everything came out. Changed. Drake jumped on it. Was it was a whole nother. It was over with. That that is a, that was uh, surprising to me because you know, Versace, I liked it. I just I just didn't know it was gonna do what it did. So yeah yeah, I say Versace. That was a nice check coming off that Versace. Huh? Beautiful check. We still get paid. <laughs> we still get paid. This is why I like this because producers like DJs are really the backbone of the ish. You know what I'm saying? Without you coming up with a beat, can't nobody rap on nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so I got you here in front of everybody. I know up, you got the up and coming producers. And y'all better bring some ish tonight. Okay. Okay. I'm telling okay. you. Because we ain't, we ain't holding back. But some advice to them, um, what would you give them? Just hurdles to watch out for, just advice to, to better themselves. Well, just first of all, like, you know, notification. Like you just said, a lot of time an artist might rap on a, a producer beat that he don't even know who they are. So I definitely encourage every producer in here to tag every last one of your beats before you send any beats out. Make sure your name and your tag is on them beats. And you want to look the part. If y'all see me, y'all see I came up here. I came out here swagged out today. You know what I mean? Got to come, gotta come sauced up. Because as producers now, we like, you know, we just as big as the artists. So they looking at us like, you know, hey, man, I, who is that or what he do? You know what I mean? So as a producer, make sure you come with your swag, your sauce. Come representing, you know what I mean, real big. And make sure you tag all your beats. So when somebody do use them and when they find out you the one that produced it, they going to want to get some beats from you. That's some real good advice right there. All right, so um, well, we got this whole setup over here. We're going to do some real dope shit right now. Uh, I want to actually have you break down a beat. I don't know which one we're going to do. You got so many hits. Which one do you want to pull up in? Well, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking since we got so many records... And hold up, y'all, hold on. And this is like a brand new setup for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whip up something from scratch. A lot of times I like to start off with the hi hat. See, I don't know clapping that right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Y'all put a Snapchat this shit, y'all. I can see niggas' eyes right now lighting up. They ready to rap on this. 
Right now, I see some of y'all eyes like, I can spit, bro. I can spit. This will make the rappers want to rap. As soon as the rappers hear this right now, they like, Zay, I'm ready. Like, turn the booth just, on. Just that alone. Hey, they got like, the rhythm. I ain't even did nothing to the beat yet. What's next? All right. He yeah. made that show <laughs> stop, Zay. <laughs> this ain't so easy. He just... How you do that, bro? What's up? Is that's how easy it is. What the... I feel like it needs a yeah in that bitch. Oh, you want some yeah in that? Okay. Hey, there you go. See? I get co-producing credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I like it. I like it. I like it. We need that boom now. I think we need that boom. Is it coming? It's coming. Producers, you got a trick. Get him. They told me I gotta. Oh man. Here come the keys. Let's do it. Here we go. You know what I mean? Make sure you don't know what they told me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Literally, like, literally five hey. minutes. Made a beat in less than five minutes. That, that, that's so crazy.